and release policies are the reason his use of parole is we like to talk a little bit about Lake and Riley and what we see with the illegal immigrant who's been Good afternoon, everybody. I would like to talk a little bit about Lake and Riley and what we see with the illegal immigrant who's been arrested in her murder. If we think about it from a, from a parent perspective, or from a friend perspective, how many times throughout our lives do we, do we think our children or that we're in a safe place? We're going to go out for a run on, our, on a college campus very close to where we're in school. In the middle, you know, of a very safe, safe area. And the next thing you get is the call as the parent that your daughter's been murdered, brutally murdered. And then you hear the circumstances of the person who's been arrested for her murder. This is so, so avoidable. And it does lay right at the feet of President Joe Biden. His catch and release policies are the reason his use of parole is the reason that one individual impacted that family and her friends for the rest of their lives. And so, as Joni just mentioned, I would implore the president to do something, to do something. It's been within his power. I think it's sort of not even ironic, but a little bit laughable that now you're reading reports where the president says, I might do an executive order. Haven't we all been saying you can do executive orders like President Trump did? You could have done this three years ago. And maybe Lake and Riley would still be with us here today. So for that reason and that reason alone and all of the other issues that go along with not knowing who these folks are, where they're from, what their intentions are, what kind of criminal records they have, President Biden has got to do something and do it quickly. On the appropriations front, um, on the appropriations committee, uh, there are two dates to remember. July 20, 27th uh, is when we passed all of our appropriations bills out of the appropriations committee bipartisan. Uh, Senator Schumer has neglected, except for in November, the second day to remember, except to put up three bills. We've had these bills out. They've been fully looked at by and on, uh, on available for, folk, for people to look at for months now. And there's no reason we can't do what the leader said, which is to go to regular order vote for the first four bills and, and stop this whole charade of government shutdown. We can't do our work. It just reverberates around the American public. Uh, the American public's worried about a couple things. Safety. They're worried about when they go to the grocery store that they're paying more than you've paid for food in decades, proportionally. They're worried about the education of their children. They're worried about the safety of our international uh, men and women as they're deployed. So uh, I think that the least we can do as a United States Senator is to get Senator Schumer to put us to regular order, to vet these bills, to get them across the finish line and have the president sign them. Lord, the president to do something, to do something. It's been nice. And so, as Joni just mentioned, I would, in years ago, and maybe Lake and Riley would still be with us here today. So, arrested for her murder. This is so, so avoidable. And it does lay right at the feet of President Joe Biden. His, for that reason and that reason along, alone and all of the other issues that go catch and release policies are the reason his use of parole is the reason that one individual impacted that family and her friends for the rest of their lives. Good afternoon, everybody. I would